guys, I'm Nikki Fogdenmore, the Mojo Maker, and welcome back for a little bit of insight and mini mojo on navigating this rally of life. This one's going to be a slightly longer video than my 60 seconds, but still just an express session to give you some focus, intent, and one or two tools to take away from this. If you haven't already met me, uh, I'm a quantum coach for extraordinary leaders and people. So those of you that are responsible for a lot in this world and you want to found that and some good values and some long term sustainable success healthy wealthy and wise so if you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram or you also listen to my podcast the Mojo Maker show thank you so much for tuning in and you can also grab my books on Amazon and on my website vitalitycoach.com.au so with all that out of the way today I want to talk to you about not filling all the gaps. I want to talk about the art of space. So once you've set your goal and you understand the actions and the attitudes around that, I spoke about that a couple of days ago. So once you know what your intent is and you understand the actions and behaviors required to embody that, and most importantly, the attitude of expecting the best, the last bit is just to leave some space and stick to the plan. But what most of us do is we get taken off course and our monkey minds get in the way and we start to come up with three or four different variables of what we thought we originally wanted and worse we start to have an interruption of intellect which stops the faith and the focus from happening and the interruption of intellect is usually overthinking and busy minds trying to demantle and break down your real goals and to really believe in yourself and letting the good things happen. So your new normal is you must expect the best, but we're so conditioned in today's world and society from a very, very early age to always expect the worst and to mitigate risk. I need you to change that thinking and to embody and express the best results and outcome. Now, why would I ask you to do that? You should do that if you are giving your best, being your best, and being authentically yourself. If all you're doing is steering conversations and steering projects, people, places, and things into a formula that you think will get your desired outcome, then you're only heading for a natural disaster, a massive amount of disappointment. And place all these expectations on how other people should act or how other places should unfold or for example whether or not you know a b and c is going to all add up then you're going to drive yourself crazy because all you can truly control are your goals your actions and your own attitude everything else is everyone else's business therefore if you are giving your best and you're focused and you stick to the plan then chances are you're actually going to make it happen or better. So when you're setting your goals or intent, I always talk about my three R's. You can go back to my blog, vitalitycoach.com.au, type in the three R's of goal setting. You have to have real-time goals that are relevant to you and that deeply resonate. Stop putting goals on your list you wouldn't fight for. If you don't truly want something get it out of there because it is a waste of oxygen and a waste of space. This is your life and you're in the driver's seat. And also remember, if you keep getting stuck in your head and sticking to stories about how everything fails and how you've done things wrong in the past and you've mucked up, yes, you know what? Tough shit. It is the school of hard knocks. We all F up. We all make mistakes. We've all had relationships that don't work. We've all had terrible situations where we could have done better. We've all done things we're not proud of. It's called being human. But what is most important is stop picking up that baggage off the pain carousel. Just leave it there and focus on the future and now. And you say to me, oh, that's so easy to say, Nikki. But actually, it is as simple as the thoughts you choose. It's no use consuming information about goal setting and having great mindset if you don't actually use the tools to be in charge of your thoughts. Mastering your mindfulness, mastering the charge of choosing your thought, leaving the negative ones on the baggage carousel is so crucial to you achieving your goals and enjoying the process. That is after all what I'm trying to teach you is that whatever you're setting for yourself, enjoy the journey. What if everything was a cafe to complete, you may as well realize that everything you think about to some degree is going to be manifested. So what do you want to do? Water weeds 
or actually water flowers and build the most incredible future and garden based on already enjoying the moment. But our bodies and minds are so conditioned to going back to fear-based pain, avoidance of drama, avoidance of anything that could cause us any hurt. It is a false sense of security. Every single video about ego, subconscious, mindfulness, getting in the driver's seat, anything to do with that teaches you that you can't eradicate that subconscious monkey mind, but you can be aware of it and you can shift it to the side. So three practical ways to actually do that in the moment. Number one is recognizing that it is not you that is this limiting subconscious belief. It's a fear-based reaction. Think about it, recognize it, and either use your hand to matrix it out or literally imagine leaving that baggage on the carousel or say to yourself, I'm letting that negative thought go and I'm choosing to replace it with this one. Very important, you can't wing this. You must be discerning what thoughts you wanna water. So the universe doesn't know, just like a watering can, if you point the watering can near the weeds, then what are you gonna water? Weeds, if you point the watering can near the flowers, that's what you're gonna water. So what you think about, what you focus on, where you spend your 40, 140 minutes a day, if you truly wanna shift, if you truly wanna get out of the stories and the pain and all the wounding and everything else that's got you to this point, then you have to take the action to choose your thoughts. You can't wing it. And that means action, attitude, and then checking in with yourself. And that's what this video is about, is ensuring that you choose to expect the best. You get to redesign the future. It doesn't matter what has happened to you in the past. I don't often talk about the things that I've gone through or the accidents in my life or the bus accident or there are kanji or all sorts of things or near death experiences, three or four death experiences, because that was then, you know, what is now is how I turn up every day when I wake up, what I see in my day, how I show up for my clients, how I show up for my friends, how I show up for myself and how I show up for living and loving what I really want. That is my choice and that is my discernment and decision. You guys have a choice as well. So if you're going round and round in circles, I urge you to spend more time working on your mindset, to spend more time mastering your thoughts and realize the potential muscle that you have there to flex, which is positivity, determination, drive and focus. It requires that combination. You cannot just hope for something to change if you're not willing to do the change from within. So this time, suit up, get in the driver's seat and be prepared to stick to your plan. Even if all you wanna do is give yourself a plan for seven days because a 90 day plan, well, that's way too far off. What do you want to set for yourself for the next seven days that you will not deviate off? How on earth can you see something to completion if you're not prepared to follow through? So follow through on what makes your heart sing. Stick to the plan. If you get afraid or you get the wobbles or you get the speed bumps, just go, that's a speed bump, but I'm sticking to the plan. Do not let the wobbles, the derailments and the monkey mind put you off track from what you truly deserve as your very best life. And that unfortunately is something we all have to get over. But realizing that you can have the best, you can be your best and you can do your best, they're all interrelated things. You are in control of your thoughts, your mind, your destiny, and what you do with your time. We all have 1,440 minutes in a day. And in the book, Adulting the Rally of Life, I talk to you about understanding awareness is not enough. It's action, the review and refine, and celebrating the milestones. So set yourself a goal. What's one thing that you want to achieve at the end of seven days? Not the year, just one thing at the end of seven days, and commit to that. Be consistent, and even if you get afraid, even if you're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna end up making the same mistakes as before, see it through, okay? Because then you'll really know if it worked or not. And I often say this in coaching, if you haven't done the work, then how do you know it works, right? So do the work, and then you'll know if you have to refine it, if you have to be agile, if you have to kind of add more things, put more time aside, get more support. But if you don't do the work, how will you know if your plan is gonna work? Follow your heart, be in your life, stick to the plan, and remember, combine actions 
with attitudes. That is how you can bridge the gap between being inspired and truly embodying on a daily basis the stuff that really matters to you. Please don't give up because it is so worth it. You will find peace and harmony and alignment. You will let go of the struggle. You leave the baggage on the carousel and you choose to point the watering can in the positive areas of your life because what we water, what we focus on is what grows. It is absolute fact. So stick with that plan. Okay, guys, I hope you like this. I'm Nikki fogg Moore, the Mojo Maker. Come follow me on Instagram. Give me a like, subscribe as well, and let me know if this was helpful for you. If you've got topics, I'm having some great questions come in. I'll be doing some Q&As and answering a question uh, every second day that's been sent to me. So I really appreciate those insights of how I've been able to help you. And remember, you are in the driver's seat of life. So don't look for anyone else. At the end of the day, you have to have extreme accountability and then see how your garden grows. All right, good luck. Let me know how you get on. Mm -hmm.